the serve now. <laughs> Along with Richard Prowser sat next to me. With with and win the Olympic title, but let's start with the world title first. Yes, first, <laughs> one step by another. But you can see, second in the first two returns, you see what he's trying here, flipping a little bit more. <laughs> a very, very strong flick to open the ball. He will try to avoid what Chen Chi did yesterday. This too much short game when the ball is going half long and gets Timo the pot with quite some spin. See there. In his top spins, keep on changing the position of top spin. Yes. You see both from both of them, the service getting out from time to time. Oh, and the ball was back in the first ball, and it was not even a block. It was a little bit of contra top spin there, and this really gives him the chance to turn around, even if it was really a player. Went out in the last 16 to Wang Li Chin. That is Timo in this first. He's good fortune, but he played the point well. He's staying close to the table and he's playing strong top spins. There's a little bit of good fortune, but at the end of the day, This is, I'm sure this is a tactic like Rossi gave him, like really avoid this long, far away from the table, tops and tops and really stay close to do. With his two serves. Good one. There, block there, give Timo the chance to win the point. Top of the bounds, good two serves. Come, <laughs> Sangika. Zhang Yika to serve. So strong with that four injuries. If he does get into a rhythm, that's yeah. when he's at his best. Yeah. We have seen him lose his rhythm several times. So, as you say, Timo, I'll do everything he can to break that rhythm. But here we see Zhang Yika at his best. Because Tanika was a bit too far away from the table, but then very fast moving around. With his two serves. Needs to get back into this third game. And there, see, Timo turned around directly, and there you can see. Right over the net. service we see see but this is the classic stuff attacking middle or back end of Timo and stay there in the back end try to make pitch to short return like the one to control the game Oh. He was ready there for the long return, for the long service. And really, Tsangika a little bit more. Maybe risk to turn around one time directly. 
Close to the table, he got in with top spins. We'll see him step round now. There he goes. You see, so many Chinese, they like to do this, like defending always the big ankle. You see there, you will see side spin there, and really coming out deep. Try not to do this again. chance in the rally you see a little bit more he needed this extra step the ball drifted down a little bit too much he needed this help of the legs a bit more as you can see on his This was unbelievable. Richard Prowse sat Oof. next to me, hands on his head, he can't believe it. What a rally. And so fast and even more accelerating there, especially with the back end of Tsang You see, it was unbelievable already that Timo touched that. <laughs> and if Hugo Young is on his feet, that means something. No, no doubt about that and also a very very brilliant plate of Timo, but you see to keep the balance there and even to accelerate This is really unbelievable. This is really table tennis from the next step. These bulls are playing these two rallies this really long With the backhand, probably on his side, it was a, would have been better for turning around. Good angle. He looks a happy man, does Zhang Yika. And there he is, Timo Ball, graceful as always in defeat, a true sportsman. He gave it his best shot, he played some brilliant table tennis. But Zhang Yika played amazing table tennis in the second, third, fourth and fifth games. And I think, Richard, we've got to take our hats off. Yeah. Zhang Yika in fine form. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Timo was really trying his best there. And uh, especially in this last game, there was really table tennis on its best back. So strong, coming back with 9-9, and then twice it was attacked to deep backhand of Timo and followed by a deep ball with a very good backhand of Tsang Yike in Timo's deep forehand. I would have loved to see Timo play in the semi-final, but he made the semis first time, and he's 30 years. Werner Schlager won the world champion title when he was 31, so Timo has a little bit still time to go, and still he made his first medal. Congratulations.